So I just met these ladies on the side of the road and I needed to get my hair done. So I took me to the village and I'm getting my hair done right in Senegal. I hope this comes out good, but we'll see. So today I got a crazy story for y'all this time. So this time it's of me getting my hair braided in a rural village in Senegal. So earlier in the day, we went to the market to buy fruit and I pointed to my head to one of the females. I showed him a picture of what I wanted and kind of motioned at the direction of hair braiding. So she nodded her head and then I called Eve over to come communicate with me. And we took her number down and planned for the day. So later on that night, we met back up with a young lady. Um, she walked me down a dark alleyway in this dark road. It was straight dirt paths to her house. Now there was no lights, no power outlets in the home. You could see she has a flashlight in her mouth so that she could see. Now they didn't speak any English, but this older man came in who I presume to be their father and he spoke some English. I had a tough time really understanding him, but just listen to the conversation. How are you fine? Yes. How do you live? I live in Jamaica. In Jamaica? Yes. In Jamaica? Yes. Uh, and you see in Senegal, what do you live in Senegal? I live in the car. I'm in, in the car? I'm, I'm visiting a friend. In, in? the car. In Dakar. Are you in French in Dakar? Yes. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Darren. Darren? Yes. Your name is Darren? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Are you fine? Okay. okay. What, do you, 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 what do you want to make in Senegal? Me? Me? Yes. I don't work here. Glad to work here? No. no uh, Just visit. Visit in Senegal. Uh -huh. Vacation. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. And you, you make a uh, kind of money for that survive? Yeah. One month or two months? One month. One month? Yes. Yeah. And you go in America? No, I'm not from America. I'm from Jamaica. Ah, Jamaica. Yeah. Ah, yes. yeah. But you start to use in Jamaica? Yes. Ah, yeah. okay. Your name is? Darren. Darren. Yeah, yes. 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 So it started out as one person, but then more and more people came in. I had no idea how many people were, were doing my hair at this time. They asked me to show them a picture of what I really wanted, and they kept referencing it. So since they kept asking me, I was thinking they were doing their thing. There was no real mirror, so I couldn't really see what they were doing. I was really just trusting them. The whole village came out to watch. Then my friends FaceTimed me to make sure that I was good. <laughs> Took them long enough, but they did check in. Oh. Everybody here with me. What's up? How are y'all doing? Alright. Probably like I say like maybe like 30, 35. Might be shorter. Alright. It's a lot of them. I don't know how many people touch more oh, here though. So I can't say. Alright. Alright, bye bye. Now don't laugh at me, but I had difficulty staying awake. I just let them do their thing. I'm not sure if it's trust or if it's stupidity, but this is when the dad asked me if I'm taking a video or a photo. I told him a photo, but he looked and knew I was filming. I thought he would be angry, but he was cool about it. He thought I was a film director or something, just trying to record it. So um, he was cool about it. 
Je cherche un tel appareil photo. Mm -hmm. film, you make a film, Marie? No, no, no. no, no, no. This, this is a photo. Uh, this is a photo. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm film. She make a film. I'm going to show you. I'm going all right, so here I am not like I am passed out. I'm asleep now, and they pull it on my head in all types of different directions. But I could not stay up at all. And every time I wake up, there's a new woman in my head. I have no idea how many people are in my head right now. So originally it was all females, but some of the boys came in to watch as well. I'm really curious what they were talking about. I definitely was the center of attention in the village. And right here, they're done and they're taking pictures of my head just to show me what it looks like. Because once again, like I said, there was no mirror or lights. So I look at the pics and it was nothing like what I wanted. Just being honest, it was not what I wanted. But, it, but what was I going to do at that time? Yes, good, good. Yes, good, 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 good. Thank good. you. I mean, I loved the experience nonetheless. It was really good to be in the village. And I had a bunch of them in my head. And then after, I paid her 10,000 francs for the hair, which came out to about $20. I'm not even sure how they're gonna split all that up between all of them because it was really five or six of them doing my hair for only $20. But that's what we agreed on before. I didn't pay for the ladies, I paid for the style. Then she walked me to my car and I was greeted by my friends. And they were gassing me. They was like, yo bro, your hair looks good. It's long. But we did talk about these parts that I was not too happy about, but I loved the experience that I had. And this is my final result. Um, all of them on my head, they did this in about an hour. Came out pretty good, little tiny ones. Um, I did twists instead of braids, but I know I don't do it for results, I do it for the experiences. Um, ain't nothing like being in a village, ain't nothing like meeting local people, <laughs> ain't nothing like that. So, and I couldn't do it for a better price than what I got it for. So um, now I got a new dude while I'm in Africa, I still got a couple more time left, so.